Ed DeRosa with you on opening night eve of Turfway Park. We're excited, and this graphic tells you why. Big payouts at Turfway Park, some of the biggest in the country and the biggest in the country in the case of the dollar pick three, dollar pick four, uh, dollar superfecta, some play it for a dime, but even when not number one, number two in almost all other categories with the pick five, still top five. Turfway Park pays four or five on the pick five, though, so that a big reason it is not among the top two like it is in every other category. If you're a player who likes big payoffs and likes the uh, possibility, knowing you're going into a card with the possibility of big payoffs, Turfway Park is for you, and these numbers clearly show why. We're going to be doing a live stream. Wednesday and Thursday night to kick off the meet, opening night Wednesday, second day of the meet Thursday. Both days drew full fields of 12 for all nine races. We'll see how that shakes out uh, scratch-wise, but uh, Mark Midland and I are going to be looking at the early pick five. Excited to see how you're going to be handicapping and playing the races as well. Going to be very interactive, going to have, have some fun, hopefully make some money. On that live stream, we're not going to be able to get to the late double. Uh, we'll start off the late pick five since we plan on doing race five. But I thought on opening night, uh, the biggest opportunities might be in races eight or nine. Race eight, because for me, it has the most likely winner that has the potential to offer some value. And race nine, because I'm dead against the favorite, who I'm pretty confident is going to be the favorite. Uh, starting with race eight, wanted to bring up our uh, synthetic jockey stats. Uh, you will see uh, somewhere toward the bottom of this top list, uh, jo uh, uh, Joseph Ramos, who does very good work at Horseshoe Indianapolis, going to be riding a turfway. Great positive impact on the synth. Negative ROI, so he does get bet, but he's still winning more often than he should. Being on this list, I think, is a big positive. He is on my top pick in race number eight. That's number five, Forgotten Peace. Love that he picks up the mount. Trainer uh, Girton is 23%, third off the layoff. Horse coming in off two starts at Prescott Downs. Drops in class, has speed. This horse is dangerous and, for me, is the best bet of the night at the morning line price. Also want to highlight Gadiel Martinez, who is on number 12 in race eight. Didn't pick him here. He has another mount earlier on the car. Didn't pick him in that either. Watch this jockey, though. His agent, Dougie Sal, very sharp. And as we see with Martinez, very good on the synthetic. Positive HR and impact and a positive ROI. When his horses fit, I will absolutely be using at a square price. So that is race number eight, Forgotten Prince, uh, the, the uh, Forgotten Piece, the top pick for me. And then in race nine, the nightcap, I'm against the favorite, going to try to beat number 10. I was kind of torn between numbers two, four, and eight, uh, which as you can see here uh, are all prices. Uh, well, uh, Egyptian Candy is not, but Golden Storm and Say Cheese, uh, both 12 to one. I actually leaned a little bit toward number two, uh, doing the pen and paper handicapping. And then when I saw this from Horse Racing Nation, I flipped them. They are both going to be A's for me since I am singling in race eight. But from a top pick standpoint and at the price, I do like Say Cheese better uh, because this one figures to improve uh, based on the sire, stand, uh, sire stats. He's by City of Light, who has not done well on uh, wet conditions routing but does have good number of synth route. So uh, it's minor. I'm splitting hairs, admittedly, but I needed a top pick. And at 12 to 1, uh, given those sire stats, why not him over a horse who maybe did not have uh, as good a stats? And when handicapping synthetic, I definitely think those numbers can help. So uh, for me, I'm 8 to 4 uh, in the nightcap, but going to lean on that 8 2, both at 12 to 1. I think both good prices. And then again, forgotten piece race eight, the play. Going to have a lot of fun this meet. Hopefully a lot of fun again Wednesday night. Join us for the live stream at Horse Racing Nation, YouTube, Facebook, X, elsewhere. Who knows where it might be pirated. It's going to be so popular. Turfway Park, welcome back.